What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you missed the last video, go check it out. I'll have it linked up in the corner. We got our lift kit on. We got the wheels and tires on. The truck is looking really good. Today we got some interior stuff to do. So we got a new steering wheel for the truck and then we got a head unit, speakers all the way around. Should be a lot of fun and should make this interior a lot nicer. So let's hop right into it. I'm gonna show you guys what we got and then let's get to work, get the stuff in. So here is the wheel we got. This is out of, I think Toyota Corolla, RAV4, uh, Celica. There's a few actually Toyotas that have this same three spoke wheel. This is a really nice looking wheel. It's really going to look a lot better than Mr. Benty over here. You see this thing. I don't know what happened, but the whole top of this wheel is bent in. And you can't even, when you're turning it with your hand on top, you keep hitting the windshield wipers and blinkers and everything. So that's definitely going to be a nice little upgrade to a nice straight wheel. So actually one of you guys sent this over. Honestly, I'd give you a shout out, but I cannot for the life of me find our messages. So huge thank you to you who sent the wheel over. We're gonna get this thing installed. So hopefully everything is plug and play. There is no cruise on this wheel, but I don't think even the stock cruise buttons will work with the Volkswagen. You have to get like in a little aftermarket unit. So I'm not worried about that. What I'm worried about is the airbag plugging in. I do believe this has the same plug in, but I guess we'll find out when we get that far. So let's get this wheel ripped off. I don't even know how this airbag comes out. Oh, looks like there's a plug there. There's probably a bolt under there, maybe on the other side holding that airbag in. Pull that out, pull the wheel. Should be pretty easy to swap this thing over. All right guys, this is everything we got so far. I did order a set of tweeters as well. Haven't got those, they're supposed to be here tomorrow. So hopefully they show up on time. What we got here is I have two sets of these Rockford Fosgate Punch. These are a six by eight. That's what my truck has front and rear. So these are a three-way speaker. They should sound super good, especially with new tweeters. And then we have the radio. This is actually the new S8 G2 from a Toto. And actually I have one of these, not the same model, it's a, it's a much older one, but the same brand in the 4Runner. And that thing has been absolutely flawless. I haven't had any issues with it. They also sent over a backup camera. So we'll hook that up, see how that thing works. You also need the harness and then everything else they send you, the Wi-Fi uh, antenna, GPS antenna, all this good stuff. I think they have yeah, microphone right there. Um, they even send you a couple screen protectors. So we can throw that on there, keep that screen nice and clean. So what we're gonna do first is we're just gonna take this wiring harness and match it color for color with this harness here. We'll splice those together and then we'll get in the truck, get the stock radio ripped out of there. I'm hoping the factory mounts will screw onto this radio. I didn't buy the aftermarket kit. I've never had good luck with those kits and I believe the stock mounts should work. And then I think there's 
There's a little trim piece here that we can put on there if we do need that. So let's get to work with wiring first. So this video is sponsored by Atoto. They did send over this radio and backup camera for me to try out and kind of do a review on it. They also were nice enough to give me a discount code for you guys. So if you guys want to check out this radio or this backup camera, I'll have it linked down in the description box. You can use the code AtotoUS6. I'll have it up on the screen at checkout. It'll save you 6% off the radio or the backup camera. Now, like I said, this is one of their higher end radios. It's the new S8. So this thing is packed full of new features. I haven't really dug into it yet, but once we get it in the truck, we'll kind of go through what it has on it and check it out. we got the radio in it seems to be working fine so this thing has got just about everything i'd basically say it's pretty much just a tablet in your car you can get really anything on it it's already got navigation so you got that i didn't hook up the uh, antenna so that's not set up yet but you got a bunch of factory apps here and you can also just run into the play store here and download basically any app oh look it's already got torque app that's pretty cool uh youtube uh pandora all that good stuff. So let's run over. If I get home, Bluetooth. I got some tunes here. These are stock speakers. Honestly, don't even sound that bad. Alright guys, it works. So I'm going to leave all this open right now. I'm going to get, uh, probably swap these speakers out first and then we'll work on the backup camera. We do have to hook up a few wires to the head unit for that backup camera. So we don't want to tidy all this up yet. All right, we got this speaker out. So looking at these two, you can see this one's got a lot bigger driver here. And then it's kind of the whole frame on the back is bigger and it's not wanting to fit that great in here. You can see it's got a little bit of a gap because that kind of frame and driver's hitting on here. So I'm gonna do a little bit of cut and see if I can get this thing to fit. <laughs> after much more cutting than I thought we would have to do, we got these speakers fitting. So I got this in here. Um, I don't really see a way to really seal this pod to the door other than maybe just a little bit of tape right here. Honestly, I think that'll probably be what I do. Just put some duct tape or electrical tape, something on there just to seal that airflow. But we got the speaker fitting really nice. So we are good to go there. I'm gonna jump on the other passenger front Get that one done just because I know what to do now. And then we got to figure out the rears. Hopefully there's a little bit more room in these rear doors.
I found a great way to seal up these little door speaker mounts. So you can see the foam poking out right there. What I used is this rubber foam weather seal stuff. It's actually got uh, sticky adhesive on one side. So you just stick it right to the door. Um, this one's three quarter inches wide, seven sixteenths thick. All right, we got just the uh, six by eights in here. We don't have the tweeters hooked up and the rear speakers are still stock. I wanna show you guys what these new speakers sound like kind of compared to the stock rear speakers. So that's middle. There's all front. And then back. So the back definitely has lower notes. They can hear the bass a lot more but there's no highs, like when I get to a different part of the song. Right here, you can hear. The rear is all, it's like all low notes. There's no high mids or highs at all. And then when you swap to the front, it does sound a lot better, a lot more clear. Not quite as much uh, bass, I would say, but we can always turn the bass up on here. Um, but definitely sounds a lot better. All right, we are good to go for speakers. They are all mounted up. I'm still waiting, like I said, for my tweets. They're supposed to be here soon. So we're gonna hold off on that for now. What we're gonna go on now is mounting the uh, microphone here and then the GPS antenna. So this has just got double-sided tape on it, if you can see that. This microphone just has a little clip right there, so that's gonna be super easy. We're just gonna mount that right there up out of the way so we're going to pull this pillar off we're going to mount that there run the wires behind there and then this gps antenna i think i'm just going to tape onto the dash right down in there and then we'll tuck the wires right up underneath that run them both up to the head unit and then we'll jump on the reverse camera and get that mounted up All right guys, got everything wired in. These two wires, the red you just splice into the red for the radio, 
and then match pink to pink and then like I said that'll plug into the back of the radio so we're good to go there for the backup camera I did just get my tweeters in this is what I picked up the Pioneer TST 110 so just looking at these it looks like we should be able to just pop these tweeters out and these things should pop right in there and then it's super simple there's a threaded post in the hardware bag there we can thread that into the center of the tweeter and then that's the backing plate you stick that on and then just throw a nut on the back side and we should be good Well guys, there it is. These tweeters made a massive difference. It sounds so much better with these tweets. You can crank this thing up and it really, it does sound awesome for not amped at all. It's, it gets loud, it's clear, you can hear it. There's no static, no weird noise. It sounds really good. One other thing we gotta try real quick is that reverse camera. Let's see. If it's hooked up right there we go um, I wonder if there's different settings you can well, this brightness well guys I couldn't really find any settings for this so I guess it, it might look different outside um, this looks like a super wide angle I can see my garage door right there and I can see the other wall so these are Oops, these are both walls of the shop. So it's very wide angle, which I guess would be good. I'm not sure what this is. It's like upside down. I'm not really sure what that little thing is. And that must be overhead, but I'm not sure how to set that up to where you actually get it overhead. I'm not sure what you need to do that. I guess I'm gonna read up in the book and I'll get back to you guys on if I figure anything out with this camera setup. Well, all that being said, guys, we are ready to go back together. So we gotta get the front doors back together, get this whole console and dash back together. Everything behind the radio should be good. They'll just have to bolt and screw everything back together. All right guys, I think I figured this out. So this half is the obviously the wide angle camera. This half, the whole entire half should be the overhead view, but it needs to be calibrated. So in the box, they give you this big calibration mat right here that you're supposed to lay out behind the, uh, behind the truck on the ground. So I'm gonna do that and it comes with this obviously the book it tells you how to do it so you see that mat is behind the car so i'm gonna see if i can figure out the calibration and hopefully it'll work a little better than that hopefully we get the full view of the overhead all right so how you enter into the calibration you tap on the side of the screen here six times and then you tap once in the center over here it should get the calibration menu. There we go. So let's see, has not been calibrated. Calibrating, I'm not sure how long it'll take. Calibration failed. I did see something in here about the uh, mat not being in the right spot. So I'm gonna mess around to get that mat in the correct spot and see if we can get this to calibrate. All right, I had to move that cloth around, but calibration succeed. So. Go save, and let's see, exit. Probably have to get it outside. All right, we got this figured out how to switch the settings on that reverse camera. So if you go to system, and then you hit system four times, you get this passcode screen. This code is 3368. On this radio at least, I'm not sure if any other radios are different, but 
this is kind of the OEM settings. You're not really supposed to mess with all this stuff, but if you scroll down to right here, simulated panoramic view, if you switch that off, go back, we'll hit the reverse camera right there, and you can see it is still obviously the wide angle just because it has the wide angle camera. I don't think you can switch that, but we got a full screen view, which I personally like. Another couple things you can do is come into here, um, back, I think it's under device. You can do like the, or no, general rear camera line switch here. So you turn that on and you get that. And you can also adjust this, you know, line settings, adjust everything in here and you can also adjust color of the camera brightness everything restore so you can do that but either way i personally like this setup better some of you guys might like the panoramic view or the top view i guess it's probably personal preference but i prefer this full view so another thing i want to talk about real quick with this radio is the touch screen this thing works so good and if you guys have ever had a radio with a not so great touch screen it's so annoying to use. Like you're trying to scroll and it'll click on something. Half the time it won't scroll. This thing is perfect. I haven't had any issues. It's so responsive. It's, it does exactly what you want it to do. Also another cool thing, back on homepage, you can hit rear camera here and it pulls up the view. You don't have to have it in reverse to do that. If you have a front camera, on here, it, there's a front camera right there as well. So that's pretty handy to have, having just the button to press on here. Also, it's got steering wheel setup. I don't have steering wheel controls, so I don't have that set up at all, but this thing's got just about everything you would need. So I honestly love this thing so far. I haven't had any issues, works so good. The touchscreen, like I said, is perfect. Very, very happy with this radio. Also, if you guys are curious, I'll go back to settings, and turn that uh, that panoramic that top view back on. And I want to show you something real quick. Turn that on. So when you hit it in reverse, it starts out like it looks really weird right here. So how this camera works is it kind of uses this camera to get your surroundings, and then it portrays it a top view here. So you actually have to start backing up like this, and you can see it's starting to come alive, and you can see everything around you so that's kind of how it works i was a little confused at first because it looked like it wasn't working correctly but you can see the truck here and now you can see the surroundings so i'll kind of back up you can see the snow pile at the bottom there you can see the snow pile in that camera so it does actually work pretty good for what it is obviously there's not a camera above the truck it uses this camera to kind of like i said kind of view your surroundings and then somehow gets a top view on this side. Well, that's a wrap, guys. If you're interested in any of this stuff, besides the steering wheel, the steering wheel is used. You kind of have to source that on your own. But as far as everything else, the speakers, the head unit, the backup camera, I'll have everything linked down in the description box. If you follow the links to the camera or the radio, you can enter the code AtotoUS6. Like I said, save yourself 6%. This radio works so good. Like I said, I've had many of these touchscreen radios. The touchscreen on this radio works better by far than any other radio I've ever had. It's so perfect, so precise. And if you guys have never had an Android head unit, these things are basically a tablet. Like I said, you can go into the app store, basically download any app you need on there. And it already comes from the factory with just about everything you need. Well, I'm gonna wrap this video up here, guys. Really hope you enjoyed it. Go smash that thumbs up button. Comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.